Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's one way you can keep me going, inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also please don't forget to subscribe. So here we go. Statics problem 20, example 20. Resultant of concurrent coplanar forces. So three people pull horizontally on cables attached to an automobile. The tensile forces in cables 1 and 2 are 200 newtons. Determine the force applied to cable 3 for which the orientation of the resultant is letter A, theta is 0 and letter B, theta is 90 degrees. So here is the figure. Then all forces are directed leftward. So the resultant would be leftward, obviously. Then, since only one force is going down, and there are two forces going up, so for the first part, theta is zero, so that means the resultant is horizontal, and it should be going to the left, because this is theta. So for the solution, so that we can analyze, that superimpose the resultant, which is leftward, so it is purely horizontal, therefore it has no y component. The x component of resultant is equal to r. And what is important here is ry is 0. Because we base, we compute F3 based on this equation. So summation forces y equals 0, ry equals 0. So that means F3, y component of F3, F3 sine of 40 plus 15. Uh, Ry equals 0 equals F3 sine of 55 degrees, 40 plus 15. The vertical component of F3 is F3 sine of uh, 55. The, the Y component of F2 is positive. It is directed up to the left. So the magnitude of F2 is 200, as mentioned here. So plus 200 sine of 15. The magnitude of F1 is 200 also, but it is going down. So its magnitude, its Y component is negative, negative 200 sine of 40 degrees. So using the calculator, we can now compute F3, and F3 is equal to 93.75 newtons. For part B, the resultant is... Uh, theta is 90 degrees, so that means the resultant is going down because theta is 90, so that's 90 degrees. So what is important here is Ry is equal to R downward, but Im the important idea or concept where we base our calculation for F3 is Rx is 0. So because all forces are directed leftward so we suspect that f3 is negative it should be in this direction so that it will counter the x components of these two forces that have magnitudes of 200 newtons so anyway rx is zero for me r is ry going down then rx is zero so we base our calculation of F3 on this equation here. Since all forces are going left, so let's consider leftward as positive. Rx equals 0 equals F3 cosine of 55 degrees. Since, as mentioned, all forces are leftward, so let's consider leftward positive. To make the equation simple, if you make them negative, that's the same. So, plus F2, which is 200, then cosine of 15 degrees. Then this is also plus because it is going to the left, plus 200 cosine of 40 degrees. Then equal 0, so we can compute F3, which is obviously negative. So F3 is negative 603.9 newtons. So it means it is directed in the opposite direction with this magnitude. Then for your part, Three people pull horizontally on cables attached to an automobile. If each person exerts a 200 newton pull, determine the magnitude and the angle theta for which the resultant force 
exerted on that vehicle. So I want you to show that the magnitude of R is, so of course it's going to the left, up to the left, maybe 469.2 newtons. And theta is 10.69 degrees above horizontal. So meaning to say, R is directed up to the left, and this theta here is above the horizontal, so it should be here, not here. So your answer should be negative or simply above horizontal. So that's it for your part.